welcome back. And today's story is The Jolly Toucan by Gulistan Yildiz Mentez. On an early morning in the jungle, Jolly the Toucan poked his bill out of his cozy nest. His stomach was rumbling because he was hungry. It was time for breakfast. He hopped from branch to branch to search for delicious fruit. He especially loved figs. After a yummy breakfast, he flapped his wings and traveled around to say, good morning to his friends. He loved cheering them up. Jolly also loved perching on a branch and singing cheerful songs to his buddies. When they sang along with Jolly, musical notes echoed through the tall trees and into the blue sky. La, 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 la. Croak, 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 croak. I'm over the moon today. La, 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 la. Croak, 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 croak. Come and join me in my song. It's a happy, happy day. La, 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 la. Croak, 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 croak. The next morning, Jolly was asleep in his nest. The jungle was completely silent, aside from the sound of rain. The raindrops glittered like diamonds on the wide leaves of trees. Suddenly, the sound of an animal broke the silence. It was a young okapi, bleeding and whistling beneath the Jolly's tree. Half asleep, Jolly poked his head out of his nest and looked down. Shh! Be quiet, my dear friend. It's too early, he whispered to the okapi, shaking his long bill from left to right. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm upset. I hope you might cheer me up, said the okapi. Well, what's wrong? asked Jolly as he skipped down the tree. He was now wide awake. I have a special gorilla friend in this forest. and We always have lots of fun together. Now I must return home and I don't know how to tell her, said the okapi with a frown. I see. Well, when are you leaving? Jolly asked. He moved closer to comfort the okapi. Next week, the okapi sniffled and shook her tail. Hmm, I'll miss you too. We sometimes have reasons to leave and you're a special guest in this jungle. Try to spend as much time together. What if you go and tell her now? You're right, Jolly. I feel less upset now. Thank you. You're magical to me. The okapi smiled and bleated with joy. No problem. Stay happy, please. Sure, Jolly. Goodbye, said the okapi, galloping away. Jolly flapped his wings and flew through the jungle in his usual manner. After a short while, he saw his best friend, Talkie. Great to see you, Taki. What are you up to? Jolly asked the parrot as he zigzagged his long beak in the air. Well, I need to discuss something important, said Taki. As he opened his wings and glided in the air, sure, I'm happy to listen. I have two friends, an armadillo and a marmoset, and they are unhappy. Taki settled on a branch and lowered his voice. Could you tell me what's wrong with them? Unfortunately, no. They only want to talk to you about their problems. I want to see my jungle friends happy. I will go and check on them. Thanks, Jolly. You really are the joy of the jungle. Jolly flew away and saw the armadillo looking extremely small and sad, curled up at the base of a tree. Jolly called out to the armadillo. Hello! What seems to be the problem? I don't want to be an armadillo anymore. I wish a magic wand 
could give me wings and so I could fly just like you. I can fly, but you're special too. You don't need a magic wand to be happy. I can cheer you up. Trust me. How? Asked the armadillo in a half-hearted way. Well, you can roll into a ball, Jolly said. I can. Look at your natural armor. I don't have that. You can build a burrow for yourself. I can't. Try appreciating what you can do. You only need to be yourself. You are unique. You're right, Jolly. Thanks. You're an amazing friend. I can be happy just the way I am. Now I'm ready to go on with my day. See you around, my friend. Now it was time to find the upset marmoset. Jolly flew among the trees and scanned the jungle with diligent eyes. The marmoset was slumped over a tree branch. What's the matter, my friend? Jolly asked. I don't get on well with my twin brother. It's a frustrating situation for me, said the marmoset with a sulky face. Really? What is the problem between you two? He can leap up to six meters into the air, but I can only jump five meters. He always says that he's better than me. My only dream is to beat him, the marmoset said. I want to find an instructor who can teach me how to leap further than him. Jolly spread his wings wide. Listen, you don't have to leap as high as him to be happy. Ask your brother for help. He can show you how he does it. That way, you can practice together and learn together. Even if you never leap as high, you will know that you tried your hardest. I have never thought that way. Thanks a million, Jolly. I feel great now. You're very welcome. I'm so happy to hear that. Jolly said goodbye to the marmoset. In one day, he had made three of his jungle friends feel better, content. He flapped his wings and flew among the tall trees. He was full of positive thoughts and feelings, being jolly even in difficult situations, was his way of life. Thanks for stopping by. You know I love reading stories to you. Please feel free to look through our channel. There's plenty other books for you to listen to. And like and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll see you next time at Auntie Cookie Storytime. <laughs>